Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here. And in today's video, I thought I would share with you my kids' bathroom. I've given it a bit of a farmhouse update. It's finally finished and I'll just take you around and show you a couple of little updates I've done. So as you walk in, nothing much has changed here. That's just where they hang their towels. We have their shower. So here is one of the little stools that I gave a makeover to, the same sort of stool that was in my bathroom. And as you can see, I've gone with a few of the sea foam and green touches, like just to give it a little bit of color in here. So we have the little stool there next to the bath. I'll leave a link to the makeover of that stool in the description box below. On the side of the bath here, I've just got a little towel rolled up for a bit of color. I have a plant next to that. I think the plant was just a cheapy one from eBay. Then on the bath itself, this was a Kmart hack that I did. This was a little bath tray that I made out of one of the Kmart shoe racks. The same tray is also in my ensuite bathroom. We have a couple of more towels and a face washer. Here is one of those basins that I purchased in one of my last thrift store hauls. So I've just sat that on there. On this side of the bath here, I have my bath sign, which I did in probably the last video, just before this one. And then next to that are a couple of those cork bottles that I purchased from Kmart. And in the bigger one is some bath salts mixed with a bit of Himalayan rock salt. And then in the smaller one is just some lavender, dried lavender. So I've just got that there for decoration. Then above the bath, we have the shelves that I did in a recent makeover as well. These were the Kmart cubes shelves and I just give them a bit of a rustic paint and put a bit of chicken wire on the back. So I've decorated them. I've got an Ikea vase up the top. Oh no, that was actually a Kmart vase, that one. The white one was a Kmart vase and next to that is a lavender, little faux lavender plant from the reject shop. Then in here, I've got one of my blue mason jars with a couple of pine cones. And then in this one here is just a reed diffuser with the little bird uh, house that I gave a makeover to in another video. <laughs> so that's the bath area. I know the lighting's really bad. It's so hard to try and get proper lighting when it's, oh, that might be a bit better, when it's coming through the window. But that's their bath area. And for their sink area, I'll just show you, try not to get in the shop because I'm still in my pajamas. So I just wanted to get in here while the lighting was probably the best. And that is their sink. And I'll show you a close up of that. So what I've done with the cabinet, I've actually just switched out the handles. They used to have some chrome square handles on there. So I've switched them for a more farmhouse style of handle and then we've got a bit of decoration on the on the uh, vanity itself so i'll take you a bit of a close-up of the stuff on the vanity so this little caddy was from spotlight and i've just filled that with some cotton balls some q-tips and some face pads cotton pads for your face I'm thinking of putting a little bit of jute twine around the top of those. Um, but yeah, I haven't done that as yet. And behind that is just a little faux plant from the reject shop. This was my soap dispenser that I got from the reject shop that already came with the soap liquid in it. So I like that sitting there. So that's that part. And then over to this side. This was a tray that I picked up in a recent thrift store haul and I just ended up painting it white, keeping it pretty simple. I've got a couple of face washes in there, a candle from Kmart, uh, another pine cone because I love decorating with pine cones. And this is one of the blue vases that I uh, picked up from a buy, swap and sell. 
and I've just filled that with a couple of cotton stems and some greenery. So that's the little decoration on that side. And then I haven't really done anything with these. I think that this wall actually needs bigger, like bigger frames on it. So I probably will eventually um, change these out, but I haven't done it as yet. I figured they're just this, this all right for the kids' bathroom for now. So I've just left those as is. So this is their bathroom section and I'll go into their toilet room or powder room that we call it here. So I don't know if I can give you a little bit of it. It's a very small room to try and film in, but yeah, so you look for the doorway we've got there again i've done the same thing with their vanity here and i've just switched the handles out for a more farmhouse looking handle on the vanity here i've just got a black soap dispenser from kmart that little plant was from the reject shop and then that's just an, a wax melter on the other side so that's the sink then in the toilet section I've switched out all the, that's a bin, toilet roll holder and toilet brush. I've switched that out for the black ones, um, just to give that farmhouse vibe. And then above the toilet, I still have my little circular shelf, but again, I've just switched it out for, I mean, my idea of a bit more country style decor. So I've got one of those uh, blue mason jars and I've put some faux lavender in there. More pine cones. I've still got my sign up there, which I like. <laughs> and then a couple of little um, faux plants there. So that's that shelf. And then this little shelf here, this used to be the one in my living room that I've replaced with the corner shelf that I made or not really made but sort of constructed out of two corner shelves so this used to be a bamboo color and white and so I've just sprayed the frame black and just left the shelves white so on here I have now this holder what's holding the toilet rolls was a thrift store find it was one of those finds where I liked it, but I just didn't know what the hell it was. And I think I asked you guys and a few were saying, oh, it could be a fruit bowl or a magazine holder or it, you know, it was all sorts of things. And yeah, I just thought, well, it fits perfectly on this shelf. I gave it a little bit of a sand to get most of the flaky blue paint off and just went over it with a bit of white chalk paint in a distressed sort of style. And yeah, so now it's holding my toilet rolls. <laughs> And then moving up to this shelf, that's another thrift store find. I was going to repaint that, but I, I don't mind it at the moment. So I might just leave it as is for now. And if in the future I decide to paint it, I mean, I'll definitely do a video on it. But yeah, so that's just another thrift store find that I think I got that for about $3, something like that. On the next shelf here, I just have a little basket from Kmart that I'm just housing some additional hand towels in. So that's there. And then on the top shelf here, that's one of my Kmart bathroom decor finds. I've just painted the frame black and printed off a restroom sign and put it in there. And then this was a reject shop find, pine cone thrift store, little basket, and I think that's a an Ikea plant in the top of that. So that's on the top shelf. We've got the hand towel next to that. And then above here, I've just switched out the prints that I normally had in here, and I found some beautiful photos online. And then on this side, I have another one, that's, and it's like a little outhouse shed. So I just thought that looks perfect in our little outhouse here. <laughs> so that's above the sink there. And that's my kids' bathroom, given a little bit of a farmhouse update. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'll probably tweak it here and there, but um, for now, I don't mind it. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.